here we have a server using Express.js that's listening on the port 4000. In this video, we'll explore adding to the path GraphQL a GraphQL yoga schema that can be fully executed against. If we open the package.json, we can see here that we're using Express and TS node, as well as some dev dependencies for our types. GraphQL Yoga 3 no longer comes bloated with various packages for different runtimes. Instead, we configure the runtime and Yoga takes care of everything else. Yoga now ships with a bunch of its own plugins, as well as configuration to do many different things throughout your GraphQL API that we'll explore in other videos. But to get started, we'll install GraphQL and we'll install GraphQL Yoga. Once those have installed, we'll import inside of server.ts, create schema from GraphQL Yoga, and create yoga. Similar to how we generated a schema before with GraphQL Yoga, we can provide both the type definitions and the resolvers in an object, but instead we'll now pass a object to create schema. So here we'll create the new const schema and we'll invoke create schema. Now this schema here could be generated from Nexus or Pothos or any other library that exports a GraphQL executable schema. And by default, GraphQL Yoga uses the GraphQL tools package to generate a executable schema. So here we'll provide the type definitions and we'll use inline comments for GraphQL to make things look a little better instead of our code editor. Here we'll simply provide the query hello and this will return a string. Then for our resolvers, we'll create the map to our query hello and we'll simply return a new string. Now we have our executable schema. We'll now go ahead and create a new yoga instance. And here we can invoke create yoga and we can pass it schema. And that's all we need to do to create a executable GraphQL yoga schema. We'll now need to pass it to the express server. I'm gonna specify here that the path for this will be slash GraphQL. Then we'll provide yoga as the second argument. And now if we start the server and we head to localhost 4000 slash GraphQL, here we can see we have the new graphical running inside of GraphQL yoga three and here we can execute the query that we've written inside of our GraphQL yoga file. So this should give you enough to get started using GraphQL yoga, similar to how we were before. But in GraphQL yoga three, we now take care of writing the server side ourselves, leaving yoga to take care of everything to do with GraphQL. We'll cover more and revise some of the videos that we've recorded previously on GraphQL yoga in the future.